Hi guys, so for today's recipe, these are the ingredients that you need. And the other ingredients are some chickpeas and green lentils. So first we're going to soak the lentils in boiling water. And next I'm going to cut the onion. I'm going to cut it in two pieces. And cut it thinly. I'm just going to use two thirds of the onions. And the rest you just set it aside. After that, we're going to heat some oil for the onions. And I like to do the onions this way because then it's not too dry like a fried, real fried onions, but you have this texture of it's uh, chewy and sweet without uh, the dry uh, fried texture. So we put all the onions so you can just fry the onions until it's just a little bit brown because it's going to keep on being cooked uh, even after you pick it up from the pan. Also don't forget to stir it around from time to time to avoid burning on just a couple of onions. So the onions will look like this when it's done you just set it again aside. Now we're going to prepare for the sauce. I'm going to cut three cloves of garlic and minced the garlic. I'm going to prepare the pepper, it's red pepper. I'm going to use a half of it and take out some of the seeds so it's not going to be too spicy. I'm still going to use some but not the whole thing. I'm going to cut the pepper uh, thinly, just enough so you still got also some bites. And the extra onions that we set aside before, I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller this time. So these are all for our sauce. Oh, I'm going to set aside some, also some onions again from that part. Now for the sauce, we're going to heat two tablespoons of sunflower oil. And just stir it. Now we put all the ingredients that we chopped before, the onions, garlic, and some chilies, and we stir it in the oil just to have some aroma and leave it just a little bit before we pour it in the tomato sauce now we're going to add a quarter liter of water or half pint of water and 
and stir and just leave it to cook in a low heat. Don't forget to season the sauce with some sea salt and a teaspoon of a, a cumin seed and a teaspoon of coriander powder. and stir it well. For the rice, we're going to add again two tablespoon of sunflower oil. I like to use sunflower oil because it's not going to leave the aftertaste like if you use olives oil or avocado oil. And first we add the uh, leftover onions and stir it around and after that we add the angel hair pasta or spaghettini stir around gives a nice color to the rice and we add now the rice the brown rice stir again and now we add the lentils that we already soak in the boiled water stir around And we add almost a liter of water. It's about three quarter to a liter of water. And stir and season with just a little bit of salt. And don't forget to put the lid on the pan. Now we prepare another pan with boiling water to cook the macaroni in. I like to prepare the macaroni separately from the rice to get different texture because the rice has already angel hair pasta in it. It will have the soft pasta taste and the lentils and the rice. Now the macaroni has to be cooked al dente so it's going to be chewy and a little bit hard it's going to be totally different with the angel hair pasta in the rice when the rice is done now it's time to put it on the plate we put first the rice oh look at that steam you see the, the different colors of the rice and the angel hair and the lentils Next, we add the macaroni. Look at that. And some chickpeas. And the red devil, the sauce. Also gorgeous and some onions and there you go, bon appetit! so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like me to make another recipe please leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and see you soon. Bye.
Thank you.